Taurus, hi, welcome to your read for the first week of November. These are general readings. They may not resonate with everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to be doing a past, present, future for you today. And we are going to try to see what the energies want to tell you today. Do I have these all backwards? I hope not. Uh, I did that once today, this morning for a client. And I shuffled everything backwards, so. I don't want to do reversals. There's no need for reversals. I'm already strict enough with my intuition that the reversal would just make it brutal and you would click off the video because I'd make you cry. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I'm going to clarify with another tarot deck instead today. And I will not do an oracle today. So yeah. I keep seeing that high priestess come up. Intuition opening up, Taurus? What is going on? So let's see here. energy here is um, the lovers. There's a situation in love coming together for you, Taurus. Uh, a major, major victory in love coming up for you here. Um, you have this king of coins and king of wands and three of swords in your past. There could have been two energies that, you know, were attracted to you or, you know, um, you know, for my LGBT community, if you're there, like, um, there's definitely a situation between two people here, an earth sign and a fire sign particularly. Um, there's a strong sense of two energies meeting eye to eye here, and then all of a sudden that just kind of comes to an end. You know, and this is past situation, so keep that in mind. This isn't happening now, this was in the past. For the current energies, I see the devil with the two of swords and the magician, in regards to this love situation, there could be a situation where you're being forced to wait for somebody to make a decision. And I feel like because they are swords here with this decision, it could be something you're not seeing or it could be kind of like maybe somebody's in a marriage or somebody's already in something committed. Although the, it seems like you two are manifesting each other or trying to create something together. But the devil is involved here and, you know, that's also, the devil is Capricorn, right? So, you know, when you come to tarot reads and people say, oh, the devil, Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I don't look at it that way. I look at it like you're dealing with Saturn. So there is a timed situation where you're waiting for something to kind of end. You could be involved in something kind of like karmic. And when I say karmic, also, it's not like revenge or justice here. It's something that needs to play out in your life because, you know, just because something someone's involved in a marriage, maybe they're not happy in, and maybe they're happier with you. I don't know. We'll see. We'll clarify what that's about. But there is a strong sense of timing with that devil card. And um, the devil spelled backwards is living your life, right? So it may be preventing you from living your life here. Although he is attached to the Six of Cups here in the future, the Eight of Wands and the Two of Cups. So there is a situation coming together in love here and it starts with communication. Very happy communication coming your way about a situation that wants to be healed. Let's see with the clarifiers. <clears throat> it's winter time and my throat's been getting really dry. I have a humidifier. I drank a gallon of water before the gym today. I'm a Leo. We don't like winter, okay? 
We like the summer. Nice, humid, hot summer. Could be dealing with the Leo. There's a Leo king up here, king of wands. Or a king of coins. I'm having deja vu in your read too. So maybe this is a pattern that just keeps repeating. Because I felt like I've done this read for you before. Have I? This seems like I've done this already before. This same reading. Let's see the king of coins here. Five of swords. Ace of wands. And the king of cups. There, are, There's a strong sense of conflict and wanting to start something new here when it comes to passion although that the king of cups is um he's quite of character to clarify the king of coins here there's a strong sense that because of conflict, maybe somebody's trying to come back in here in the past. Let's see here. Uh, for this King of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Emperor, and the Seven of Coins. Yeah. So there's a strong sense of someone being stuck in somebody. Some, in somebody. <laughs> that didn't sound right. There's a strong sense of somebody being stuck in something they don't want to be in. But there's... There's this great beginning with this other king of wands and that they want to move into that energy with you. The problem is that I, I do feel like this is you here, this king of wands. Although the king of coins is you, I'm, I'm picking up strongly that the passionate one would be you. This four of cups, this emperor, and the seven of pentacles, there is a strong sense of, you know, it could be that You've committed yourself, or you've, you've definitely made your decision about a person wanting to be in your space, but there's no actual result being given there. It could be vice versa as well. It could be you, the king of coins, but I'm strongly picking up if you're this reed, you know, or if you're the cross watcher, it could be you as the king of wands. Let's see here with the three of swords. And that heartbreak there is... Page of Pentacles, a message, and maybe somebody's, you know, there's a strong sense of maybe somebody's attached to another marriage here or uh, a strong commitment <clears throat> that needs to be healed out. Well, and I don't know why I keep thinking marriage, but I don't know. Leave in the comments if that's you. Let's see here in the Devil card. Okay, well the Devil's clarifying by the Devil here. Um, you could be possibly being faced with a no communication situation according to these cards. I mean, you have this Nine of Wands and that's definitely the battles that are over here in the past between the situation in the past and the high priestess your intuitions opening up and i did say that she kept showing up when i was shuffling and here she is but she's here with the devil meaning you're not communicating and you're recognizing that this is actually really toxic uh, for you that you're waiting and waiting and waiting for communication to come in is something really toxic for you. You understand that. And at the same time, it could be kind of like a Saturnian thing, a lesson you need to learn. And when I say lesson, it's not like you're being punished lesson, okay? So let's get that straight. Anytime I say these are lessons we have to learn, it's just Saturn's timing, right? It's just um, whatever Jupiterian lesson, whatever spiritual message you need to pick up here. You have Ten of Coins, Three of Wands, and the star here, the center of your reed. <clears throat> Meaning there's a decision here that needs to be made. Um, and that involves a home, that involves uh, maybe some sort of short travel as well. And this star card, a dream, right? 
Maybe it's you're waiting for somebody to move towards you as well. That could be a thing. You know, these are general reads, so it's going to affect everyone differently. And there's also the sense that maybe some people are waiting for something to break up so that there can be a culmination of a relationship here that somebody's waiting for. Let's see the magician here. Magician, clarified by the Magician, Strength card, Magician, the Chariot. And I did say you could be dealing with the Leo. Uh, you have all of them here. You have Aries, Capricorn, Aquarius. You got all of them here, so don't worry about it. Um, but this is definitely, you get three, three big cards here for this Magician. And that's the Strength card, the Magician, and the Chariot. There is a strong sense of manifesting each other and waiting for happiness here. I don't like waiting though and you know I know this is all on you there's gonna be two sets of Tauruses here some are waiting some are not so don't get upset in the comments and say I'm not waiting for anybody some of the Taurins are some of you are not some of you are being strong and manifesting something new some of you are not. Some of you are sticking with that and trying to balance the light and the shadow energy like this is some sort of twin flame thing. Uh, maybe you believe your person's stuck in something karmic and you're waiting. I, I get a strong sense of that. Or maybe your person's at a distance as well. But there's something you're not seeing here. Let's see what this Six of Cups is. Uh, hold on a second. I'm not going to take that. It fell on the floor. Queen of Wands, the World, and the Justice card. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty much like I said. Um, some of you are waiting for somebody to get out of a marriage. It's just how I see it. Or a very strong spiritual connection. Some of you are waiting for somebody to come back from a distance. And then there's another set of Taurus that are waiting for um, the new thing to come in. Very fire energy. So you might have a lot of fire in your chart there, Taurus. Um... You know, Taurus sun sign, I mean, that's not really, yeah, maybe you're ruled by Venus there, but um, maybe you have a lot of fire placements, and uh, maybe you're like a nighttime baby, that type thing. I don't know why I'm doing a birth chart read for you, Taurus. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm just, I just feel like there's a lot of fire in this read, a lot of passion. And look, there's the sun, right? That's what I'm talking about. And with the temperance and the knight of cups, so yeah. <clears throat> this Ace of Wands is definitely you communicating that some of you are moving on to new better things because you are talking with this Temperance card here. And when I see this Temperance card, it's like I, like I said, some of you will be waiting for an energy to kind of come in and emotionally give you some sort of fulfillment. Some of you won't. And I think the people that won't are going to see the most success here. The people that are kind of waiting for an energy are going to continue doing that. You know, I'm your tarot card reader. I'm no one to tell you that you can't wait for somebody. I'm nobody to tell you that. You know, I'm a humble reader. And if that's what you choose to do, I support you 100%. Here's with the Two of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands, and the Three of Swords. There is some disappointment here when something comes in. And it's disappointment where a marriage falls apart and maybe when they realize, well, now I'm single, why do I want to get in another marriage? That's just what I see, okay? Some of you that want to wait for that, like I said, the devil is clear and present in the present energies of keeping you bounded to something. Okay, now if it's not resonating with you and you're saying that's not my person, okay. 
it's better for you to get a personal read to see what the actual situation is. But there's probably a lot of people involved with situations now that are keeping them chained. Especially if it's long distance, because you have these three of wands, you have the chariots. There's a lot of like uh, ninth house stuff and third house stuff. So a lot of you could be dealing with people at long distance or being involved or faced with a move here. The Ace of Swords, the Judgment, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is a life lesson for you about what love looks. Taurus, this is a life lesson for you about what love is. Love isn't something where somebody's involved with something, cutting something out for you. Love isn't something where you're being judged or another person's being judged or put to sleep for you. Love is about timing. When you learn to work with the universe and you're not struggling against something because the best result is when you stand in the middle of this wheel and you accept yourself you accept your possessions you accept communication you accept your family your hobbies your 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 service your love life your spirituality your travels your community your friends war death when you accept it all and you just stand in the middle that's when love comes in not when you're forcing things not when you're waiting for things when you're standing in the middle and doing the service for yourself here, that's when love comes in. That's what this lesson's about. So very interesting read. I've never had a read like this for the YouTube general <laughs> readings. So I hope you enjoy that, Taurus, and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.